What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and supporting. We have a great video for you guys today. We're going to go over 20 secrets that most drivers do not know. These are all designed, in my opinion, to make you more money. Before we jump into this, we wanted to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, Solo. Solo, in my opinion, is the best rideshare app on the market, and I think the best rideshare app that has ever been on the market. The main attractive point to it is it's going to get you guaranteed earnings in your city, in your location. You also get 15 bucks just for signing up using our link. It's free. It is so worth checking out, and it is packed full of features. So definitely check it out, guys. It's linked in the description below. Alrighty, the number one secret for making more money is surge hacking. The way I've always described this to people is I would always stay in the outer edges of the surge uh, and not go right into the middle where it's packed full of traffic. I had times where I could give five to ten rides that were, you know, a five dollar surge rather than trying to get in the middle of the fifteen to twenty dollar surge. And I would always make way more money than if I tried to get that one massive ride where I end up getting stuck in traffic. We have some additional info on how to do this. You can browse through our videos on the channel and you will see a few different videos that break down surge hacking in more depth. Going the extra mile. Listen, the reason I say this is I've taken countless Uber rides myself and Lyft, and the thing that I see over and over again is drivers that just don't care. And they're on the phone the whole time, they don't make an effort to talk to me, and I might tip them one or two bucks. But if someone really goes out of their way to be a decent driver, I'm gonna throw them a much bigger tip, and people are the same way. Go the extra mile, that is how you will make the extra money. And if you don't, that's fine. You don't care about making more money. Number three, doubling down on both apps. Shocks me that there's so many drivers that don't do this. At the end of the day, you will make more money, you will give more rides. It is that simple. Number four, write-offs for the win. The more stuff you can write off, the better. And the more stuff you can write off, the odds are the better the experience you can uh, you can offer. Things that you should have that you might not have thought of. Puke baggies, aspirin or Tylenol. I like to have some cologne on hand so that if you know the boys are going out, they can get a fresh spritz of something. Make sure they smell good. Gum or mints, I think, are another great option. Candy, chips, drinks. Um, anything you can think of that would make the experience better, you should invest in because at the end of the day, it's a write-off and it could lead to more tips, which you don't need to pay taxes on. Um, story time. So this was an idea I had a while ago that worked really, really well. I put up a little sign behind my seats and it just said, I, I just made it really sarcastic. Hey, thank you so much for, you know, taking a ride with me, I'm trying to remember layman terms, obviously. Um, I have three options I can offer you. The silent option, you know, you've had a long day, listen, dot, 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 I get it. I don't need to talk, you don't need to talk, just tell me you'd like option one, and I won't say a word the whole way, I'll just give you a nice, quiet ride. Number two, the jam out ride. You tell me your favorite tunes, I put it on, we rock out the whole way, and I would get pretty eccentric with it, and people loved it. And then I would say number three, story time. I tell you my two craziest stories from Uber. I promise you've never heard anything like this. So I did that a while ago and I noticed my tips went way up. It was kind of nice. It was like the icebreaker was already out of the way. Uh, some people I think just thought it was a little weird. That's okay. I don't care what some people think. I care what a majority of the people think and a majority of them, I swear, they tipped me more because of it. Um, Number seven, avoid long distance lift rides. Lift actually pays less for the long distance rides. So I promise, you know, it's not that you should necessarily avoid it, but if you have the option, take the Uber ride if you can. Um, it's probably going to be the higher payout when you really break everything down. Uber's Gold Perks gives you the ability to to see how far a ride is going. That's extremely valuable depending on what time you're driving. If it's bar rush, uh, two, three in the morning, and you get a ride that's not a surge and it's like pretty far away, you might not wanna take it because you're gonna wanna be able to stay 
excuse me, in that generally hotter area than if you, you know, ended way out in the boondocks. All righty, uh, number nine, using Get Upside, Gas Buddy, and Gas Perks together. Now, this is how you save the most money on gas, which is obviously extremely relevant right now. Get Upside is going to offer you specific deals at specific um, gas stations. Gas Buddy is going to show you the cheapest gas stations. And then if you use Gas Perks as well through Lyft or Uber, you can get an additional discount. So what I was doing for a long time is I would find the cheapest gas stations in the area, usually three. Then I would open Get Upside to see if there were any deals at those specific gas stations. And even better, if it was a Shell or one of the gas stations that Uber and Lyft were partnered with, I mean, I would sometimes save 30, 40 cents, a, you know, a gallon. It is unbelievable how much money you can save on gas if you're just a little bit meticulous about it. Number nine and kind of building off that is using your cash tips for gas. Most gas stations have a cheaper option if you pay cash. So imagine if you combine all those features and then you get an additional five cents off or whatever the discount is for paying in cash. Again, there are ways you can save a lot of money on gas doing this. Uh, number 10 is packing your lunches. I still can't believe so many of you eat fast food three meals a day driving. For one, it's kind of disgusting. Uh, but for two, it's not cheaper. You need to get into meal prepping, and there's ways where you can write this off as well. You can even pay companies to prep you know, a full week of meals for you. It is a little bit pricey, but if you can make it make sense and get a percentage of it written off, this is definitely worth it, and it is so worth looking into if you can find a way to justify it. Number 11 is Play Octopus. It's very simple. You make more money. They send you a tablet. You attach it to the back of your headrest. They play games with the chance to win money. You make more money when they're playing games. It's also just a good experience to offer, and I think it does contribute to getting more tips because you have options for them in the car. Uh... The next one I, I like to call preferred pricing. Now, this was something I did a while ago. I would maybe shouldn't even talk about this one. But I had a guy when I drove in Nashville years ago. And probably four or five times I ended up picking him up about a mile from my house and took him about 40 minutes to work. After, on that third ride, I said, hey, you know, how often are you doing this? And he's like, every day at 8.30 a.m., you know, Monday through Friday, obviously. And I was like, look, you know, do you mind me asking how much you're paying total? And I, I can't remember, but I want to say he was paying something like $35, $40 for that ride. I was making, oh, man, I, I can't fully remember, but it was like around 20-ish bucks, I want to say. So I told him, I said, how about this? No tip necessary. I was like, just cash at me or throw me 25 bucks each day and I'll just show up every day, Monday through Friday at this time and give you this ride. He was thrilled. I was happy. I started off every morning with a pretty decent ride. Uh, he saved money and we did that for a long time and I just called it preferred pricing. But I don't believe you are technically supposed to do that. So just be careful with things like that. But I do think that if you can t find some type of arrangement, getting that first ride out of the way as a strong ride is always very nice because you guys know how it is. It sucks when you go out there and it's really slow to start. You lose motivation quick. Uh, the next on our list is Solo's guaranteed earnings. Like I said in the beginning, you are simply going to make a lot more money using Solo. Download it. I also left links for Play Octopus and everything else in the description below. The next one is Weekend Night Shift. Simply, this is the best way to make money on Uber and Lyft. If you're willing to sacrifice your Friday and Saturday nights, you can make more money in those two days, two 12-hour shifts, than you will on a full week of driving. I had noticed this time and time again in multiple different markets 3, a, uh, 3 p.m. to 3 a.m. Friday and Saturday, 24 hours a week, makes you so much money. And if you're working another job, this is the best way to supplement Uber and Lyft with your other job and really increase your income. The next one on my list is do some delivery, just from time to time. 
Occasionally you're going to get sick of talking to people. Take one or two days each week, if anything, and just do delivery for the sake of your own mental health. Sometimes it's draining talking to people all day, every day, and I think that giving yourself that break from time to time while still get making some money, having some good tunes on, it's definitely worth it, and I recommend you guys check it out just here and there. The next on my list is get a second phone. This, to me, is so important. If you get a second phone, not only is it a write-off, um, but you don't have to get anything crazy nice. You just need to get something that's going to run your Uber and Lyft apps, um, the other benefit to this is then your main phone you can use for controlling the music. Uh, and then if you want to let passengers select a new song, you can just pass your phone back and then, you know, your navigation and everything is still there and they're not sitting scrolling around, uh, while you're, you know, not sure if you have a turn coming up. Getting a second phone really is a big game changer. I highly recommend it. And the last one on my list is please put on some deodorant. I've also taken too many rides where these drivers just smelled so bad. Put on some deodorant, wear some cologne, get some air fresheners. If you don't have window tint and that hot sun, it just makes you sweat your butt off regardless of how high the AC is. Do not smell because I promise that is the easiest way to get bad ratings and to not get tipped. So that's our list. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. I hope you guys crush it out there this week. Check out Solo, get those guaranteed earnings, and I will talk to you guys soon.